So I'm gonna take some poblano chilies, and I think I'm gonna make green chili cheeseburger, something that I first really got into when I was in Santa Fe, New Mexico. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my green chilies on the fire because I can actually cook these way ahead of time. So I just want them to be ready so that when my burgers come you know, hot off the grill, I can just garnish them with the cheese and the, and the green chilies. So I'm gonna fire roast my green chilies just by putting a little canola oil and some salt and pepper on there and just getting them on the grill. What I want to happen here is to get the, uh, the skin to start to blister and it will get that nice charred color and flavor and I can actually take the skin off and then take the seeds and the stems out and I'll just have the flesh of the green chili and I can lay it right on top of the burger. I have my patties in my refrigerator just to let them get cold. So I just put a little canola oil on top, just a very light brushing, and then some salt and pepper. And now we can just go over to the grill. Okay? And the idea is to only turn these one single time and we want them to get nice and crusty, let the grill do its job, and then we can garnish them later on. This is the way I like to cook burgers. Really simple, good, good chopped meat, a good amount of fat in the chopped meat, somewhere between 80 to 85% meat to fat, and then uh, season them really well and let them grill. And then all the flavors come in the condiments. I have some provolone cheese here. You know, it's a fairly mild cheese. It's a great melting cheese. If you can't find provolone, Monterey Jack would work really well. You know, or like a white cheddar or even a yellow cheddar is totally fine. I always like provolone and Monterey Jack better just because I feel like it melts better. I like really good melted cheese on my burgers. And I have to have toasted buns on my hamburgers. So I'm going to take a little bit of oil and just brush the inside of my hamburger bun just a little bit. And in fact, you know, I treat the bun like anything else. I season it and I salt and pepper it a little bit. There's plenty of room. This is gonna go pretty quickly, so you can't go anywhere now. That's what you wanna see, slightly toasted. Now these are poblano chilies, so they're not very spicy. They just have a great pepper flavor. And then by the time this cheese melts, you should have some perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. Cover the grill, and that's how you melt the cheese. Very important to melt the cheese all the way. I can't stand half melted cheese on burgers. It's just, it's just not the same. You know, you just gotta let it go for that extra 20 or 30 seconds. It makes all the difference in the world. Welcome to Green Chili Cheeseburger Land. <coughs> That's what I'm talking about. That looks real good, Bobby. Thank Smells you. Smells really good from here. I'm just gonna use a little bit of hot sauce to give it a little moisture. I mean, you know, you can always look, just kind of throw a burger on the grill, throw some American cheese on it. And, you know, it'll be perfectly fine, but just a little extra effort, you know, just to do something a little different, you know, why not? <laughs>